hello class this is um grade four quantitative uh, which we'll be studying looking the first um, lesson today um within this first lesson we'll be looking at this particular exercise exercise 1a and this is exercise 1a we're able to see that we have 4600 here which equal to looking at the z uh, pattern this is down 9200 followed by 13800 and the last 18400 we want to see how this particular numbers are gotten so when we're able to get this particular sample they were able to use it to solve all the remaining sample in this exercise so we're going to look at this first one which we're going to study now we're going to study this first one and when we look at this first one we're going to see this Coming, we are going to see with the example I showed you before. This is the first one. Uh, I call the first the first one, then the second one, the third number, and the fourth number. Now, how do we arrive at this? So, we want to explain the example that it is given to us. The first thing, whenever you are given a question in quantitative, you use the first um uh way of solving mathematics because uh quantitative they want you to reason how you're able to solve the particular question given to you so that you use plus minus uh division or multiplication any of these four uh method will solve the problem of uh, mathematics along with quantitative so we want to see how to find this solution now looking at the pattern of the question the solution is find the difference between the first and the second number or the second and the third number or the third and the fourth number any of these will give you the difference provided you are giving anyone and that will lead us to how to solve our problem now let, let us look now that you know the first number is 4600 the second number is 9200 the third number is 13800 and the fourth number is 18400 now we are giving all the numbers but let us look at the differences if the differences are the same now what we have here we look at the second number subtracting the first number that's why we have 9200 minus 4600 when we find the difference that is take away we are able to get 4,600 then that is the second number subtracting the first number the second number uh, taking away the first number we can also see that in the another way this the third number taking away the second number which is here that is um, 13,800 minus 9,200 it gives us the same thing just like the first one we have the same number we have the same number now we have the fourth number subtracting the third number this is it so what we have here 18,400 minus 13,800 will arrive at what this is 4,600 so all our differences must be the same according to the pattern of the question in this exercise so now I want to let you to see how the first question look like the first question we are going to solve is like this we are not giving the first number and the fourth number but we are giving the second number and the third number looking the second number and the third number then we can find a difference just as we are able to see here solution is to find a difference whether the second number or the third number or first or second or third or fourth so here we are giving the second number and the third number so we're going to look for the difference and look at the difference the solution is to find a difference 
2400 minus 1600 so when you look at it then um you are able to find that the difference is 800 uh number as our difference so the same difference will be used to subtract from 1600 in order to get this first number the same difference will also be used with this third number we are going to add to the third number to get our fourth number so and this is what we are going to get by the time we look at these um, differences so don't forget 800 will be subtracted from number two this is number two to get to number one then while the same under 800 will be added to number three so that we're able to get the number four number four so after subtracting it this is what we are able to resolve so this is a question so don't forget our difference is 800 so 800 minus this 600 we're able to get 800 again so the first number we have 800 and 800 minus uh, plus 4000 uh, plus 2400 is going to give us 3200 that will be the number for number four now when you look at it properly this is going to be our answer 800 will be the first one as a missing number and 3200 will be the answer for the second uh, the, the fourth number so we're able to see that it's very easy so the remaining sample we're going to solve so that we're able to resolve this particular question so you have question one is already resolved with this uh, teaching if you don't understand watch it over like question number two is very easy you find the difference between these two you are going to add it to the difference will be added to number two to get this number three the same difference will be added to number three to get number four when you look at number three they are giving you number two and number three find the difference you subtract the difference from this number you're going to get your number three the same difference will be added to number three here to get your number four when you look at number four uh this one is somehow tricky but they give us the first number and the last number so what are we going to do we have two number in between so this one is somehow tricky i'm coming back to it later and i'm going to tell you what to do then point number five the same we are giving the first two it is easier to get the difference but this one is not easy to get the difference it's somehow tricky okay so and um here we are able to we can be able to get different because we have the two number beside them so the difference in these two number you add it to this number two to get number three you add the difference to number three to get number four here we have the difference able to know it's eight thousand minus six thousand will give you a different that difference is subtracted from this six thousand it gives you question answer to number two then subtract the same difference from this answer of number two you're going to get the answer of number one you are able to get the difference between this uh, two in question number seven and it's very very easy um, so by the time you get a difference you add it to this number you get the answer to this number when you have the answer to this number the same difference you have here you add it to this to get the answer of number number four now when you use question number four and question number eight they are somehow tricky how can you get the solution i'm going to leave it out for you for you to think because this is um quantitative reasoning i want to see how far you're going to get the answer but i'll give you a clue that the difference between the first one and the second one must be the same thing with the difference between the second and the third and third and the fourth the same thing applicable here so i give you the works to do and i wish you good luck have a wonderful day